Uh, just discuss briefly what point in the making of the film that you decided this would be a good option for you to start a Kickstarter campaign. We spent a lot of time in Wisconsin, so uh, where where the billionaire, conservative billionaire industrialists Charles and David Koch, who are very active throughout the country, spending their money to to influence politicians and to influence public opinion. Um, played a major role in Wisconsin um, with the election of Governor Scott Walker and then the implementation of his, uh, what we view as kind of an extremist political agenda. Uh, so we followed that drama for about a year and a half. And uh, we were um, about eight weeks away from our world premiere and editing furiously. And uh, we lost our broadcast partner. Um, and it was a... Uh, quite a surprise and a shock and, and a bit of a, uh, um, well, you can read about it in the New Yorker, as Tom said. About the time, two months before uh, we were to premiere at Sundance, uh, there was uh, a lot of political pressure internally, apparently, because of another film that aired about Charles and David Koch. Um, and so we kind of got caught in that blowback for political reasons and were asked to change the name of the film and then further... Uh, a little more subtly asked to remove the cokes from the film. Um, so we were stuck uh, losing not only our television broadcast, but our finishing funds for the film. Um, at a very inopportune time to lose your finishing funds for a film right before your, your premiere. We were pretty far along, though, in the process when we decided to do the Kickstarter campaign. Um, because after, after we did premiere, we were still in talks with uh, ITVS, and they were promising that they were con going to continue to support us. And, uh, and that sort of dragged on for a few months, and it was in May um, when they very abruptly, um, note, I'm sorry, in April, where they very abruptly and surprisingly uh, said, uh, we're done. We were left um, scrambling um, for our finishing funds and for our audience. For us, um, the Kickstarter campaign was as much about finding the audience as about raising funds. You know, yeah, it was kind of exciting, um, not just the, 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 the money, but the, the numbers of peoples. And I think for us, it happened on the third day um, when um, Kickstarter put us on our on their front page or their main newsletter. And all of a sudden, I mean, I was in a coffee shop with my kids somewhere, and um, this extraordinary in influx came, and we didn't, had no idea what had happened. Something had happened, we just didn't know what it was. And um, it was really uplifting, it was very heartening um, to us as, as artists, um, because we felt that not only were people eager to support this work, but they were also you know, taking a stand um, because they felt affronted by what public media had done um, to us in our film. I remember our friend Jim Brown, who's here right now, um, kept saying, why don't you guys do a Kickstarter campaign? Every couple of months I'd see him and he'd say, why don't you guys do a Kickstarter campaign? Not just Jim, a lot yeah, of people said. <laughs> a that. lot of people. And I uh, was totally 100% against it. I just, there was absolutely no way I wanted to go out and put myself out there and tell everybody that we were trying to raise money and I hated the idea of coming up with the rewards and I just really didn't want to do it. And at some point we were able to get our executive producer, Abigail Disney, on board with that seven minute teaser that we had and she was able to fund um, most of the editing of the film, you know, the final editing of the film and then we were stuck again and really needed to raise more funds. And even she said, why don't you guys do a Kickstarter <laughs> campaign? And so we kind of looked at each other and we were really desperate at that point and uh, we decided to do it. It's not something you want to do um, lightly, you know. And I think, you know, Sarah and I, we both come from a background. She's Iranian, I'm German, where in my case, in our country, we have, you know, funding for the arts and the idea to go out uh, and ask complete strangers for money is is um, is not very attractive, and for Persians even less so. Um, so we we really had to get to a point where we saw no other way. This is something I'm sure there's a lot of people out here who are thinking about running their own campaign. I can't stress enough before you call any of us for <laughs> or anybody how to run a Kickstarter campaign. There is so much information out there. Um, so what we did is we studied the best. You, at that time, the most successful campaigns. And what you would read over and over again from the filmmakers is that, oh, you know, this is great, because not only do you raise money, but you build your audience. So it sounded um, picture perfect, but obviously it's something you hope for. You can't really plan for it. Um, 
And uh, in, in our case, we were in a, in a weird situation because we have a few women in the, our film, Iranian women, who took uh, quite a bit of risk uh, in exposing themselves the way they did in front of the camera. And we had never shared any of that footage except internally with people. Um, so it was, you know, before we even launched a campaign, I sent them each the teaser that we were going to use and asked them, is it okay to even show this? Because if it does go well for us, then this could go everywhere in the world. And, uh, and so they green-lighted it and said, yes, go ahead and do it. And then that's pretty much exactly what happened. Within, within a week, uh, we were on uh, CNN, I think, right? Five days into the campaign, um, Huffington Post picked it up somehow, and then a few days later, CNN called in. And next thing you know, we had all this publicity without obviously having a PR company because we couldn't afford one. Um, and then it's then when we realize, wow, you know, this is almost better than any festival could have been for us because when you're at a big festival, you, 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 you're a little fish in a big pond. And when you get picked up like this out of the blue, uh, it's a kind of a different story that transcends even the film world. This is just kind of funny, but we didn't, we got our smart, our interns made us get smartphones while we were prepping for the Kickstarter campaign. They were like, you're gonna need, and so they ushered us into the smartphone yeah. <laughs> world. Um, and so then we're at this preschool thing, and every time you get a backer on Kickstarter, you get an email that says like, backer. There was one day where we ended up on the front page of CNN.com, or not, not we, but Kevin Shepard, our, our protagonist, right next to Obama. And that day, boom, 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 that smartphone, boom, 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 just kept. <laughs> and it was not, bi it wasn't big donations. It was five bucks here, 25 bucks there, but it was probably 40 or 50 that day. And that was just amazing. We later got much bigger donations and you need them to raise this kind of money, but you also need uh, the, you know, the, the small donations because that's really where you realize there is an audience. And for those of us who've never had the wherewithal or really the desire to invest money in the stock market, like it, for, for us, it was the first opportunity to actually see our work, you know, to have that adrenaline rush of people coming to back and, 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 and money coming in to support the work that we were doing as artists. We sit alone a lot with our work. We, we're alone with our subjects, we're alone in our editing room, um, we're, we're alone with each other in, in isolated for years making the work and sometimes you're socializing it but typically you're, you know, really just, it's an internal process of making a film and all of a sudden, you know, before you're um, really out there, people are coming and engaging and um, and writing the most extraordinary things and, and making personal connections to you um, either on the comments page that everybody can see or directly through email, you know, and going beyond friends and family, which I thought, well, it's just going to be like my mom and my aunt and a few friends, you know, that weren't filmmakers because filmmakers don't have money to contribute to Kickstarter campaigns. But it, it turned out there were people that, you know, we didn't know that not only from this country, but, you know, from around the world. And I, I felt completely uplifted because we had been a bit demoralized by what had happened, you know, with public media. And so it was it was kind of cathartic and therapeutic at, at the same time. I think it's really important to evaluate how far your campaign can go. Because, for example, if you're making a film about a space station, a, a narrative film about, like, a space station in Munich, somebody actually told me about that, you know, you can get your friends and family to support you probably. Then the question is, how far can you expand out of that circle? And then you have to base what your goal is going to be on that. And so I think in both of our cases, there was something to rally around. I mean, in, in our case, the Iranian community can be very, very splintered. Uh, they come from different backgrounds, different religions, different you know, wealth backgrounds. And this was something that everybody, every Iranian could rally around and say, yeah, we're funny, we're people you know, we're just like you, and we're kind of tired of the way we've been. Uh, Actually, every Muslim, the, the biggest donor was not Iranian, came from Lebanon. But, uh, like, for the Muslim community at large, well, I it's, think. There were different communities who, who had that feeling, but I'm talking specifically about the Iranian community, which is what I was focused on mostly. And in their case, there was definitely something to rally around. I mean, PBS, pulling the plug, PBS? I remember when I heard about it and read about it, I was like, this is insane. <laughs> How could they be the ones doing that? And so you have to really think about 
Are you going to expand out of your own circle? And I think that's that's something really important. Is there something people can rally around? But I think it's also important. Uh, first of all, what what you just said about this feeling of uplift and love uh, that's uh, I can only sec, uh, second that, that that I've never had anything like that not at a festival not at a screening it's it's crazy when people you don't know give you this type of support but listening to us one might get the impression that this is what it's like running a Kickstarter <laughs> campaign <laughs> and I think it's important to point out that uh, you know we are uh, I think in the top one percent every film that raises over a hundred thousand is in a very small um you know section of kickstarter crowdfunding campaigns and so that's why when you ask this question about marketability and all that stuff that's all hope you know but you have to fi strategize a way to get there and there are a few important things to remember for example what we did we literally sat down and said it's going to be our friends and family and between all of them we figured out how much money that could be in our case wasn't that much our goal was 50,000 um and 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 so so 50,000 was very very scary amount for us because you have to break out beyond your friends and circles to raise that uh, there's n there's absolutely no way unless you have people that are really wealthy in your family but neither of us does right and so it's 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 important to to map out the campaign, whether it's about a basketball player going to Iran or uh, you know money in in politics. You you have to figure out who could be your audience and what is a realistic target to set. 